What up, people? I am heading to Tulsa again to go to Home Depot or Lowe's, whichever one it is today. Who knows? I won't know until I get there. But as y'all saw on the uh, thumbnail and from the title, oh, why does this have to happen? Oh my gosh. So, uh, woke up this morning doing my normal thing. I was making some coffee, uh, going, looking around the uh, shed house and stuff, and the window in my living room where the uh, birds are, huge crack in it. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was just the heat and then it being colder at night and then heat again or something. I don't know what happened, but there's a freaking huge crack in that thing. So, I'm gonna have to buy a new window for that. Um, unfortunately, I guess it's unfortunately, it's fortunately for me, I bought the double pane windows that uh, the inner window collapses in and can come off completely so that you can change out the uh, uh, screen and stuff on it. And instead of having to replace the entire window, take it out of the frame and all that stuff, I think I might be able to get away with just buying another window and uh, just taking off that inside window part and putting it on the old one. So I think I may have dodged a bullet. I'm hoping I'm not speaking too soon. Uh, it doesn't leak or anything. Uh, so it's not a huge priority for me to get it fixed immediately. So I'm gonna wait a little bit for that. I got other stuff I'm gonna take care of first, but man, just something I, I wasn't expecting to happen and it is what it is. Uh, just got to deal with it so I figured I'd point that out and then uh, I wanted to talk about my ceiling on this video I haven't started working on the inside uh, putting wood up yet because realistically I think I'm gonna have to add more insulation on the ceiling when we spray foamed it there wasn't enough it didn't go as thick as I wanted it on there and I'm totally okay with that uh, but Unfortunately, I'm going to have to buy more insulation. I'm not going to do the spray foam, any more of the spray foam. I feel like whatever we sprayed so far got in all the nooks and crannies and whatnot and will help seal off the building as is, but being that it is a metal roof, it's a black building, it does get uh, direct sunlight pretty much all day long. Uh, I want to make sure that I'm doing things right and uh, I'm going to go that's part of the reason I'm going to Lowe's or Home Depot right now. I'm going to pick up some insulation. I'm going to get the R19. It is going to be pink insulation. Uh, what I calculated, I'm going to have to have four packs of it. Excuse me. From what I was looking at last time I was at Lowe's and Home Depot, looks like it's about $60 for a, a pack of eight. And I'm going to need four packs total. So I think... I'll be able to do the entire inside uh, ceiling for a little under $300, which is not bad at all. Uh, I was talking with my dad yesterday when I was in uh, Lowe's, and uh, what we were calculating right now is I have a couple of inches of spray foam on the ceiling right now, and if I get the R19 total, I'll have roughly an R30 uh, rating on my ceiling which is going to be excellent it should help cut down tremendously on the heat and stuff in there uh, during the peak of summertime and uh, just hold in all the the ac and the heat uh, throughout the year so uh, it is what it is and uh, i'm totally fine with it 300 dollars is not too much for me to be able to do that and it's also going to give me the peace of mind knowing that uh i have roughly r30 uh, for the ceiling so uh, I know on the spray foam video I did, which is actually doing really, really well for me and for my channel, uh, I think it's about to hit 200,000 views, which is great for me. I'm very happy about that. Uh, like I mentioned in other videos, with us doing these videos of us building, it does pay us back. Sometimes it pays us back more than others. Uh, when we get videos like that that do really well, it definitely helps us out. So uh, between my two spray foam videos i'll just say it's looking pretty good for me as far as paying myself back for the insulation did it pay it back 100 no 
Did it pay it back close to that? Pretty close, yes. So uh, I'm not worried about having to go buy more insulation on this. And I think that's what uh, people that, I don't know, talk trash on the videos and stuff like that. It is what it is. It's going to happen every video. Uh, some people are telling me to stick to my day job and that uh, the spray foam is too expensive and all that. And what I was trying to put in their head when I, on these videos when I'm talking is saying that these videos help pay it back. And this time, the spray foam is it's almost paid off. So I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, plus, I got a learning experience on how to do it. Uh, Jason and Danielle are going to spray foam their house as well. And now we have a, a good idea on the technique how to do it. Uh, they bought three kits as well. Theirs is a different type. So once we start spraying over there, we'll have to see how far it actually goes. They may end up having to buy another kit or so for theirs. Uh, their walls are a lot taller than mine, so it's going to take a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, I just figured I'd uh, let you guys a little insight on that. So uh, I haven't really talked about it too much on the main channel yet, but uh, obviously with me picking it up now, I'm going to try to put it on my next video. I'm only going to get two packs for now. I'm going to, uh, two packs will do my uh, bedroom and my bathroom and have a couple of uh, strips left over for the living room and kitchen area and then later on when I start working on that portion of the house I'll go back in and get two more uh, packs of the insulation so yeah it's a everything's a learning curve and like I always say I'm not a professional at this if I was a professional I'd probably be doing it full-time instead of doing YouTube so uh, anyways let me get cruise control here looking down at my steering wheel I need to focus on the road uh, anyways that's what my day is consisting of I started working on the bathroom which you guys will probably see, or you will see on my next video I'm really digging the way it's coming out uh, I made my decision on the shower tub combination or just shower which you'll see in the next video as well uh, I started putting up tongue and groove I think it looks pretty awesome in there I'm also going to start looking at a uh, toilets and uh, vanities. I may actually pick one up today. Uh, as far as the vanity goes, I'm not going to custom build one like we did down in Texas. I'm just going to buy one that's completely made that already has a sink and everything built into it. I just don't know exactly which one I want to get yet. Um, I'm not too worried about it matching the kitchen cabinets and all that. It's going to be in a totally different room and uh, basically it just depends on what they have there. I am thinking possible, possibly getting a like a dark brown color for the vanity in the bathroom. And then uh, I think they make the vanities and then they have like the mirrors that go with it. So uh, that's something else I'll be checking out. Depending on how much room I have on this trip, I may get that or I may not, but I'm definitely getting the insulation and uh, hopefully they have more tongue and groove because I went through that pretty quick here. Um, I still have some at the house, but I need to pick up more to be able to finish out some stuff. So anyways, uh, that's how my day's going. Uh, wish me luck. Hopefully they have all the materials that I need, but I wanted to point that stuff out. Yes, I will be putting more insulation on my ceiling and it's going to be freaking awesome. So anyways, uh, I'm pumped about getting this house one step closer to being done. Obviously, I still got a long ways to go, but uh, the more progress I see done on the building, the better I feel about it. And uh, yeah, I'm proud with the way everything's looking on it. And anyways, uh, I guess I'll go ahead and end this video. Uh, once again, thank you for watching. I want to tell everybody thank you for going over to 12 Stones Ranch and uh, subscribing. Like I mentioned, uh, I guess it was on my main channel when I first gave him a shout out. He was around 283 subs. I looked just a little bit ago and he's at almost, I think it's like almost 1,800 subs. So he's gained 1,600, which is insane. I know he's stoked about that. And I just want to tell you guys, thank you for going over there. It means a lot to me, and I know it'll mean a lot to him. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching these videos. Very much appreciated, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Bye, people.